Last week, we ran a test on the platinum copper and platinum copper gallium to compare CNC effects and tool wearing. Well, today we're gonna to run the same test on another set of alloys, and that is the platinum ruthenium versus the platinum ruthenium gallium. For those familiar with our channels, you know that we've been advocating and testing with the platinum ruthenium gallium for quite some time now. Heat treating it, hardening it, casting with it, casting, recasting with it, using, reusing different types of metal. Uh, but for those who don't know, you can click on those links in the video description below and check out all the related videos about the benefits and the advantage of using platinum ruthenium gallium as your platinum alloy. For today, we'll be putting the platinum ruthenium gallium to the same CNC test as we did with the platinum copper last week, only more rigorously. And instead of doing just two sets of rings, we are going to be doing five sets of rings. We have the same deal happening here. There are five test samples for each alloy. The platinum ruthenium gallium used in this test only has 1.5% gallium in the formula. And we're gonna CNC all 10 samples to this pattern. And there are three clear results and observations we wanna point out. Firstly, different from the copper alloy test, uh, for this platinum ruthenium test, we controlled the number of cutting tools used for both platinum ru and platinum ru gallium. So both alloys ran with the same program. Spindle speed was also set at the same RPM. Now, so the variable in this test was the setting for surface speed, where the platinum ru gallium ran the tool at 450 millimeter per minute, while the platinum ruthenium ran at 400. Now, running the platinum ru gallium faster allows the work to be finished in 5.5 hours, as opposed to six hours with the regular platinum ruthenium. So definitely the harder platinum ruthenium gallium was able to finish quicker. Secondly, the running a quicker service speed at 450 millimeter per minute affect the quality on the platinum ruthenium gallium. Well, there is a small difference in the grooves the lines on the PGREGA were much more crisp and evidently has less chatter than the platinum roux, even when it cut at a faster speed. And thirdly, we did look at the tools used. There are no obvious difference between the thickest and the finest cutting tools. However, we did spot a small difference in the R1 tool where the platinum ruthenium has just slightly more tool wearing than the platinum ru gallium. Mm. We were actually that we can do even better because we wanted to see if we can get closer to the cutting efficiency of K-Gold. But hey look, platinum is platinum, K-Gold is K-Gold, platinum is 950, the other one is 750. So let's not get too caught up about like comparing spaghetti to instant noodle. A lot of people do say that platinum is too gummy and that it has a higher production cost and higher tool wear. Well, we just hope the experiments and the results show you that you can improve tool wear by simply increasing the hardness of the alloy. And that's just simply by adding some gallium to the alloy, rather it's like a platinum copper or a platinum ruthenium. And to our special platinum loving friends out there, who prefers spaghetti. Uh, we just hope that the results that we have will inspire you in ways to make better pasta. Yeah, and for the haters who don't want to put in the extra oil for platinum, yeah, they can stick to instant noodle.